Hey guys, it's JK, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can build a super simple zombie villager conversion chamber so that you can ensure you get the cheapest trades possible when you're in your survival world. So yeah, let's just get straight into the tutorial. Alright guys, so when converting a zombie villager into a regular villager, you're going to need a couple of items that can be quite difficult to obtain, so I'm just going to show you how to get the more complicated items, showing you the crafting recipes, and then I'll show you all the things you need to build the chamber. The first thing you're going to need is a golden apple, these can be crafted using one apple surrounded by eight gold ingots and obviously that creates one golden apple. You're also going to need a splash potion of weakness. Now to get that you're going to need a fermented spider eye. To craft one of those take one spider eye, one sugar and one brown mushroom. Put that in your crafting bench and yeah you'll craft a fermented spider eye. Then finally take that along with one gunpowder. Put them both through a brewing stand with obviously a bottle of water in there. And yeah, that'll create a splash potion of weakness. Alright guys, so here are all the things you're going to need to build this conversion chamber. You're going to need 10 rails, 6 powered rails, 1 minecart, 3 buttons, can be any button. A stack of any building block, I'm using stone bricks, you don't have to use stone bricks, you can use anything like cobblestone, any cheap material you can find. 4 trapdoors, you're going to need 2 for the farm and I use another 2 to help get the zombie in there. So yeah, bring 4 trapdoors. 8 glass, you don't have to use glass, but I like to be able to see into the chamber to know when the zombie has been converted. Obviously you're going to need your splash potion of weakness and your golden apple, which I showed you how to make before. I've also got some emeralds, a book and a lectern here. This is just so I can give the zombie a profession before I put it into the conversion chamber and then I can lock in the trade by using emeralds and books. I've also got a stack of dirt here, which is just going to be temporary blocks to help get the zombie in. Obviously, you can need the zombie, so I've got a zombie spawn egg here, and I've got a name tag, which I've already renamed to zombie. If you don't have a name tag, you can find a zombie which can pick up an item. They have a really small chance of spawning with the ability to hold items. So if you don't have a name tag, just find a zombie that's naturally spawned in your world, throw some items on the floor. If it picks it up, you can use that one in your farm. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you guys how you can build the actual conversion chamber. So as you can see here, I've got my villager breeder. If you want to know how to make this breeder, I have already done a tutorial on it on my channel, so I will leave a link on the screen and in the description below if you want to build this exact conversion chamber. Okay guys, so once you've got where your village are coming from, run a rail going away from wherever your villagers are. Then you're going to place down two powered rails on the floor like this, and then a block with a regular rail on top like so. Then place a block with a button on top next to the end powered rail so it will power these. You're then going to want to place two powered rails like this, another solid block with a regular rail on top and another powered rail like this and you can just place another one like that. So you get this sort of M shape with your rails making sure that it's a normal rail when you're on top of the block and powered rails in this sort of V shape in the middle. You're then going to want to go ahead and place down six regular blocks like this in front of your farm so it should go to the ones where the powered rails go down on the sides. Then build this up to four blocks high on either corner and fill in the top row like this. You can then take your eight glass and place them across like this. This is where you'll be able to see inside of the conversion chamber. Then taking your regular blocks, you can do the same on the back side except for the glass obviously. So go ahead, build this up four blocks high and then fill it in. I fill in two rows and like this leaving a 2x2 two two gap in the middle around where this V is and then if you bring this across again and fill in the back so you're left with this sort of little 2x2 two two area inside of the back wall of the chamber this is what it should look like from behind so you've got a little 4x3 wall sticking out you can then take your trap doors inside of here and go ahead and place them on the floor like this so this is where your zombie will stand when the farm is completed so you'll be able to attack your villager but won't be able to escape the farm so let me just go ahead and get out of there so that's basically the main functioning bit done obviously go ahead and place a ceiling on this farm all the way across like this it's important that you have one above the end powered rail here because that's where your zombie villager will sit when it's being converted and you don't want them to be exposed to sunlight because obviously they're a zombie they'll burn in the daylight so yeah Make sure you have a, definitely have a block here if you're not going to put a ceiling on the whole thing. But I normally just do. Yeah, once you said you've got a button over here, place another button on this block here, which is to be the third one in, and then place one on the sixth one as well, just like that. And that's basically the conversion chamber done. 
Now I'm going to show you guys how you can get a zombie inside of this farm. Alright guys, so this is how you can go ahead and get a zombie inside of here in survival mode. If you use your dirt to build up a sort of little staircase with walls around it surrounding the farm. I actually think I'm going to go ahead and build this wall up one higher like this. But yeah, if you build it up and then leave a 2 by one gap here, fill it in one side with trapdoors so you can go ahead and walk across. If you have a zombie chasing you up these stairs here, the, they'll think they can walk on here and they'll just fall straight into your chamber. As you can see, I've removed two blocks from the back of this wall here. But you can just fill them in once the zombie has fallen inside. So yeah, if I fly out of here, the zombie will go ahead, fall in, and yeah, that's, uh, that's basically how you use the farm. I'll just go ahead and spawn one in though since i am in creative mode so there you go and obviously give them a name tag or make sure they're holding an item so that the zombie will not despawn all right guys so now you're ready to go ahead and send some villagers through this conversion chamber so i'm going to go ahead and pick one up from my villager breeder that you can see like i said link to the video on how to make this breeder is in the description below i'm going to go ahead take this villager over here to the start of the farm they will stop just about where this button is Please, please, please remember that you need to be in hard difficulty before using this conversion chamber as there is a high chance in either easy mode or normal mode that your zombie, that your villager sorry, will die during this conversion process. So yeah, just make sure you're in hard mode because they'll never die in that mode. So yeah, please, please, please remember to be in hard mode. I'm going to go ahead and place down a lectern so this guy can get a trade. Let's see what he has. Uh, nothing good. Let's get a book. Something that we can actually trade. You know, so we can see the price go down. So there we go. We're getting on breaking two book for 32 emeralds. I'm going to go ahead and buy one of those to lock in the trade. Make sure your trade is locked before you do this. Or they'll just get a random trade when they come out. But yeah, now he trades. on breaking two books for 32 emeralds and one book. So I'm going to go ahead. Get my splash potion of weakness and golden apple at the ready. And then I'm going to go ahead and send him into the farm. As you can see, the zombie begins to attack him and he will slowly become a zombie villager. As you can see, he's now a zombie villager. So I go ahead and hit this second button here. You can see he will move up to this end powered rail here. Obviously, zombie villager. Go ahead, throw a splash potion of weakness and hit him with a golden apple. And he will slowly become a regular villager again. Alright guys, as you can see, now it's been a few minutes, and if I go over to the villager who has now become a regular villager again, he is now trading the same Unbreaking 2 book for 7 emeralds and 1 book, rather than 32 emeralds. Now, you could get this down to the minimum price of 1 emerald and 1 book for the trade, but I am pretty happy with this, you know, no one really wants Unbreaking 2 anyway, to be honest. But yeah, as you can see, this conversion chamber works perfectly. You can send them back in again, like I said, to get the minimum trade, but yeah. That is basically how you build this farm. To get the villager out of the conversion chamber, all you need to do is press this last button and they'll be sent along a rail once again. So yeah, if you, if this video was helpful to you or you just simply enjoyed it, please, please, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to my channel. Apart from that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.